Welcome back to another video guys, it's Tian here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to go completely incognito in Safari on iOS. Now, I did a video for you guys how to do this exact same thing a while ago. That's actually the most popular video on my channel. If you guys want to go ahead and check it out, I'll leave it in the cards above. It was back when my channel was called TechSnap. I don't know why I chose that name. The reason why I'm making an updated tutorial today is because there is an even easier way to do it without wasting your time. Let's begin. So Black Friday is finished and Christmas is on the way. You don't want your loved one knowing what you're getting them for Christmas. This is actually the same thing I said in my most popular video. The first thing that you're going to want to do is launch Safari on your iOS device and then select the website. The next thing that we're going to want to do is make the entire bar at the top of the screen dark gray or black. Because in this stage, even if you close the tab, the person can still go back to your recently opened tabs by clicking the bookmarks button located in the top left corner in order to take a peep at what you were previously doing. So how do you make the entire bar at the top black or gray? Click the tab button located at the top right corner of the screen to enter the tab switcher. Then toggle the private switch to on. Once you toggle the private switch to on, you should get this screen. You're going to click done in the top right corner. Now go to your favorite website. Now I'm browsing the web incognito. Now this is the part of the video where I screwed up last time. Because actually if you go into setting and click the Safari history, you're actually clearing the history from the public and private browser. So here's how to avoid that and not screw up. You're basically going to do the same thing in reverse. You're going to turn the private tab off and then continue using Safari just as if private tab was not enabled. As you guys can see here in my bookmarks, you can't see if I was at apple.com. No, I did not delete anything. I just exit private mode. I'm not saying that my old method was completely useless, but this is just an easier way of doing it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.